Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other, and I run across something obscure again in history, and it goes back to memories I had as a child when my mother used to go to the Norwich Village laundromat in Huntsville, Alabama. I decided to enter Norwich Village and under YouTube just to see what, what kind of hits I would, would get on it, and I have discussed this subject before about the history of Norwich Village laundromats and I understand there's actually a few few around and that it was that laundromat that had that sign that was a spear uh, uh, like glow orb and, and it would would, um, would would turn would go around round and around and unfortunately I understand there's only there's only one that where where the spinning actually still works is one at laundromat in Minnesota somewhere. But anyway, I saw a thing on YouTube and where they were showing, it was an episode of The Old Price is Right that was hosted by Bill Cullen from 1956 to 1965. Don Pardo was the announcer for that show. The same announcer was, did Saturday Night Live for, for many years. And Here's a little, little, little audio. From, I'm, I'm going to play bits and pieces of audio from it. One of the most exciting prize we've ever presented on The Price is Right. Actually, nothing we ever have offered compares with it. And in our opinion, if you win this prize, it could mean a lifetime of security for you and your family. Because you are bidding for your own business completely paid for. Okay, non Pardo, tell them all about it. Anyway... People could bid for a business. They would. They would. They would be running a, a laundromat. And somebody business minded knows knows what they're doing. It could, could could have been a good a good prize. But for a lot of people, that that could very well have been a a disaster. Imagine you get you get a laundromat, and then all the problems problems that occur later on down the road uh, but I want to play a little audio on what what's included in the package and here's what Don Pardo give, explaining what what you could win on in this what what this laundromat consists of what's your bid for this entire Norwich equipped laundry and cleaning village your new business will consist of eight Norwich coin operated dry cleaners eight dry cleaners <clears throat> 20 Norwich coin operated automatic washers. 20, 20 washers. 8 Norwich coin operated dryers. Dry, 8 dryers. 4 laundry carts. 4 laundry carts. That's another thing that's included with it. 1 coin changer. Coin changer. 1 soap and bleach vendor. 2 folding and spotting tables. And a um, vending machine for soap, spotting, and folding table. One 350-gallon water heater. Under 350-gallon water heater for the keep the hot water hot. One package of advertising signs worth two thousand seven hundred forty dollars. Advertising signs. I do remember those all over the cleaners. They were were at, at um, fluorescent tubes inside of them, and they they were basically cleaning instructions that were on on the walls of of the of the laundromat. Three chairs, one sectional, two tables, and one wall mural. Oh yeah, the chairs. People they just want to relax while they're getting their laundry done. Can sit down and I saw people reading magazines. They had like ashtrays and stuff. They had like a wall mural in this in this footage also. Each. Norwich coin operated dry cleaner is made to clean a giant load of clothes in less than an hour. Clean cleans clothes in less than an hour. Provide huge savings to the customer. Now when the clothes come out of the dry cleaner, just hang them up and they're ready to wear. So that that's basically what 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 it cons what it consisted consisted of all all this these these various things that, but you know like I like I said if you're if you're not if you're not a business person, that could be a disaster taking on something like this. You, you're 
opening a laundromat and people start strangers start using the using the equipment people that a lot of times are probably careless with it probably put too much soap and do other other things wrong and all of a sudden you're starting to have machines break down in different places different things breaking down and let's let somebody on the ownership can fix those things repair bills are gonna gonna be are gonna cost cost a fortune trying trying to get getting those things fixed i remember seeing washers all the time broken down in laundromats or i saw evidence where people put too much soap back then so a lot of the soap was powdered and they would put too much much of that in there i could still see the powder in the broken broken washer so basically to recap it says eight dry cleaners 20 washers eight dryers coin changer soap and bleach vendor two folding and spotting tables four laundry carts 350 gallon water heater sign package three chairs sectional two tables one mural that's basically what's what's included in the in the whole package and don pardo was saying he could win if the price is right you could win the security sweepstakes now listen to what what bill cullen says on on this after 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 his his intro about about what you what you can win now please listen closely you're bidding only for the equipment listed by don pardo but if you are the winner you're going to receive this bonus the entire installation of all equipment will be done free free installation will be done you'll receive approximately fifteen hundred dollars worth of supplies free supply fifteen about fifteen hundred dollars worth of supplies free that i mean it's, it's a it's a good start the north distributor in your area will determine the best location for your business and your rent for the first year up to five thousand dollars will be provided free so rent up to five thousand dollars will be provided free so that's basically what what people what they were bidding for now that now there wasn't any any wasn't any footage beyond this it was just the just this intro thing so i don't know i don't know who who won or anything won, won the package but like i said you have to be a you have to be a business person i i um have gone to a laundromat before when wash when the washer or dryer is, is broken and I saw there's a laundromat near me where a, a, a couple, an, an Asian couple, owns it and a lady you know runs a desk and I see the husband all the time fixing a different different broken down washer. So I mean, it, like like I said, if somebody in the, in the partnership has the skills to do that, that that say that does save a lot of money. But you still still have to replace parts and then those those can those can be expensive and. If somebody, I remember our, our, one of our washers broke down and broke down during a power outage. It, it was running and then the power went out. It ruined the transmission in, in the washer. It would have cost a fortune to replace the transmission. That's what needed to be replaced in it. And we ended up buying another another washer. And, and, and yeah, that's, that's something, that's some, another Another potential problem in a laundromat, probably something that happens, probably quite often. But if you're business minded, it's a it's not not a not a bad thing. But I, I don't know how this ended up working out for the person. I'll, I'll have to I'll see if I can do some research and see if I can see if I can find out in, anything about the person that that won this and whether you know they whether they stuck with it or how how that how that in, ended up working out. But anyway, I'm looking for more ideas on what to do shows on. I, like I said, I do obscure subjects related to preserving history. And with that being said, like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.